Nepal is a country of extremes. High mountains, deep valleys, steep slopes and floodplains. Very hot, very cold, very wet, very dry. A challenging environment indeed for the people who live here. Most people live in rural areas, leading a life that is hard and difficult without the benefits of education, far from markets and with few possibilities for turning hard work into real income. Poverty is a big challenge. An easy and successful life is something few can ever dream of. But even here, there are new ideas and new technologies that could help improve people's lives and give hope for the future. But there is lack of means and resources. In remote mountain areas, people tend to live lower down in the valleys, but have land and use forest areas higher up. Every day they must climb up and back, often more than once. Women have the heaviest burden. They must climb the steep slopes to collect grass and fodder for their animals, water to drink and for washing, and firewood to cook and heat, and again to tend to the crops in far away fields. They spend three or four hours every day just walking to their work and back. Isimode, the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, has spent a lot of time looking at different aspects of mountain people's lives, identifying their problems and looking for solutions. After an extensive research, a new system, a gravity ropeway with four ropes that allows controlled braking has been developed. It was used in Himachal Pradesh in India and has now tested the system in Mustang, Nepal to see how it could benefit mountain people here. Mustang is famous for its apples and the best are grown in Marfa and Tukuche. Much of the 110 tons of apples are grown every year in Marfa region and the 110 tons of apples grown in Tukuche can now be carried by ropeway to the valley. But there is one problem. How to get the apples from the orchards to market without damage and without the cost soaring? There are no roads, only tracks and footpaths. The best apples are grown high up on the mountainsides, but the villages where the farmers live and the market collection points are in the valley. This was the ideal place to try out a gravity ropeway for goods.
In 2001, EC Mode commissioned ITDG, the International Technology Development Group, to carry out a feasibility study. At the end of the year, two gravity ropeways were built as a trail in Marfa and Tukuche in Mustang. They have made the transportation of apples faster and more efficient at less labor, time and capital. From areas like Jhong, it takes a person two hours or more to carry 50 kgs of apples down to the valley. At most, she or he can carry 100 to 150 kg of apples in one day. The ropeway can carry the same 150 kg in just three minutes and there is much less danger of damage through shaking and bumping. This is the wonderful advantage of the braking system. The farmers say transportation is now fast and reliable, the technology is time saving, money saving and labor saving. Shedding light on this ropeway technology, convener of ropeway project, agriculture economist Dr. Pradeep Mantulachan says, International Center for Integrated Mountain Development uh, has established uh, this uh, gravity goods rope in Marfa uh, as a research and demonstration. So the most pleasing thing is that it has not become, not only uh, become demonstration and research, but it has become of practical use to the people. This research and demonstration was established with full people's participations. Here, uh, people contributed their local materials and labor, and we contributed about 5,000 US dollar plus uh, te technical expertise. And this was done in view of the fact that uh, in the rugged and remote mountain areas like Marfa, uh, people have such a hard life that they have to walk 
up to three to four hours early in the morning to collect their production like apples, other agriculture produce or uh, forest materials like uh, bedding materials, fodders, uh, firewoods and again it would take them three to four hours to get back to their village. This technology has reduced considerably the time required to go to the production areas and to bring it uh, down uh, to the village. Not only these, other products like wheat, maize, millet and plums are also transported easily to the market below through gravity ropeways. Marfa and Tukuche are areas of great natural beauty with good prospects for tourism. And now the people have the time to develop this potential, time they used to spend walking up and down and carrying produce. And it is not only the farmers of Marfa and Tukuche who are benefiting. <laughs> बिहाना उठे र पहिला त्यो एक एक खेप चाहिँ त्यो दौरा ले पनि यो जेले पनि एक खेप त ल्याउनै पर्ने स्थिति थियो बिहान उठेर बिहान 5 बजे भन्दा अगाडि उठेर त्यसि भर घर आएर बर खाना बगाउने के सबै गर्नु पर्ने महिला ले गर्नु पर्ने भएको उनाले हाम्रो अहिले यो रोपाईले गर्दाखेरि महिलालाई सुविस्ता नै भएछ किनभने फुर्सद समयमा गएर त्यहाँ ठिक ठिक दौरा ल्याउनु पर्यो पनि स्याउ खेत स्याउहरु टिपेर ठिक राखे पनि हामीलाई धेरै सुविस्ताहरु चाहिँ भइराखेको छ समय पनि धेरै बजियो किनभने घरको कामहरु अरु कामहरु गर्नु हामीलाई पायो अनि हामीलाई चाहिँ होटल हुनाले होटलको लागि काम गर्न पायो अरु हाम्रो साथीहरुलाई चाहिँ खेतीमा जानलाई जानलाई पाउने भयो खेतीमा जानलाई पाउने भयो घरको लागि सरसफाइ गर्न पनि हामीलाई पाउने भयो कुनै ठाउँमा जानलाई पनि सकिने भयो नत्र त यस एकदम त्यो माथि धेरै दुई तीन घण्डा लाग्ने फेरि त्यबार बोगेर आउनु पर्यो चार पाँच घण्डा लाग्ने थियो हामीलाई त एकदम दुःख हुन्थ्यो Simple technologies like this require no electricity or any other alternative energy. This is also a reason why it is considered very beneficial and cost effective. Its maintenance work can be carried out by the local residents themselves and the farmers have been provided with necessary trainings. The ropeway uh, which is easily available, the local materials are easily available over here and the parts uh, except wire rope, uh, everything we can get from locally available resources. Other thing is it is low cost, appropriate, affordable and acceptable by the local community. Uh, it is widely used for the transportation of goods, not for manual but it's for goods transportation. Uh, it has a span of near about 1.3 kilometer from a roadhead to the apple farming which we say as a zone in uh, this Marfa language. Uh, it's, uh, it is very easy to operate. Uh, we, uh, when we talk about the maintenance, uh, we have to uh, have a maintenance in every six months uh, with a lubricating system uh, for this pulleys and bearing. 
The improved gravity ropeway is still in the initial stage of testing and the two ropeways in Marfa and Tukuche are being treated as experimental demonstration setups. Like Mustang, there are a lot of other very rocket remote districts such as Humla, Jumla, Triplicode, Mugu, Dodendura, Doti, where people have the similar problems. Their villages are situated near the river banks and their productions are off in the highlands. And it is a lot of hardship for them to bring the products from the production areas down to the village. What to talk about to take to the markets. So even we could do, uh, you know, we, they could have this kind of technologies uh, in their villages. It will have a direct impact on their uh, livelihoods. And this will reduce uh, the drudgery of especially women and children who are now overburdened with, uh, uh, you know, work as well as with hardships. Gravity Ropeway is a shining example of an appropriate technology worthy of great respect and admiration. EC Mode has been conducting various programs aimed at boosting the living standards of the people of the Hindu Kush Himalayan region. In the context of Nepal, Gravity Ropeway is sustainable and very effective. <laughs>